guys, it's Wisteria. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing town tour. So today we are going to be visiting one of my lovely subscribers' towns. They contacted me letting me know about this town. And if you would like to follow them, their Instagram is shinyoddish and their Tumblr is Alejandro Bravo. I think I'll put both of them on the screen now. But this town of Luella. It's like, I didn't look at too much of it because I like my reactions to be natural. But from what I've seen, it is like my favorite town. They did such a good job on this town. It's amazing. It is hacked, but we are going to go ahead and visit it. I am so, so excited to show you guys this town. It is so beautiful. So here we are. You can see the cherry blossoms falling. There's plants growing everywhere, the beautiful pink azaleas. If we could ever get up out of bed, there we go. We have a bell right here, and the bulletin board is in the middle right here. And let's see, what do we have here? Oh, a crown, that's nice. And then here we have, if I can properly step over it, a pink glow wand. Let's go ahead and equip those. Oh, very cute. Okay, what else is around here? Ooh, what's that? I have no idea what this is. I just picked it up. Let us find out. Oh, it's a rare mushroom. Let's see what happens when we eat it. I don't know. I feel like we shouldn't. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Sorry about eating your rare mushroom. I'm glad it doesn't actually affect your town. Now I'm trying to decide which way I want to go first. I love the flower arch right here. That's very beautiful. Oh, and look at the town hall back here. Okay, we're gonna go this way first. Because look at this. This is so beautiful. And they were telling me that everybody here is a fairy. So this is a fairy town, which I find very cool, very exciting. There's some eggs back here. It's just so cute. There's a fairy tale street lamp, more azaleas, and here we have retail, which fits in very well with all of its pink. And there's just a bunch of flowers all around, very spring-like. Ooh, what's this? Oh, a yellow glow wand. We'll keep our pink one, okay. We'll go back to the town hall. I'm not sure still where I want to go first because there's a lot to explore. Here we have a jungle gym. Very fun. Let's go up here. Is this a path? Oh, this is like a park. There's a little tire toy here. Very cute. There's this big boot seat that I forgot what it was called, but it reminds me of a kid's tale about a woman living in a big shoe with a bunch of children. I don't even remember anything else other than that, but it reminds me of that. And then we have... A drinking fountain. Very cool. Oh, an earth egg is under us. Cool. Oh, look at the little heart stump. That's adorable. We have bamboo down here. And then, hmm, I guess we'll go this way first. I haven't been over here. I went to the left whenever I was testing out this place. Oh, hello. We have Lopez here. Now let's keep going up. Here's a hot spring over here. With some coins and eggs, and here's a bus stop too. Aw, with the little gyroids. It's very nice. I love how earthy this town is. It's just very natural, beautiful. It definitely gives me some fairy vibes, which I love. We have this water pump here. Ooh, we have Stonehenge in the water back here. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. With the bamboo and the in front of the waterfall. And then I guess we'll go this way. <laughs> Let's see who lives here. We have Diana, oh, And then we have Eric's house. Then over here we have Lopez's house. And then lastly we have... <laughs> Y'all got mad at me for pronouncing Bo as Bu? Like for some reason this is pronounced as Bo. Makes more sense to be Bu. So I'm gonna say Bew, just because someone was a little rude about it. So here we have Bew's house. <laughs> Let's just have that as an inside joke forever here on my channel. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll go this way, I think. Oh, we have more villager houses. We have Fuchsia's house. Her house is very cute. I like it. Oh, we have a villager right here. Hello. Didn't see you. We have Puck. And here's their Instagram once again. Where's your house? Oh, I guess it's below us. Okay, we'll get to it eventually. <laughs> and then here we have Deirdre's house. I feel like Deirdre is always in these dream addresses that I go to. Weird. And then we have Zell's house. So a lot of deer type villagers. 
And of course we have Fauna. There would not be a fairy town without Fauna. And then right here we have another fairy tale street light. Now let's go hmm, down this way, I guess. And we have this side turned bench, which I think is really cool because it's, you can't get this bench without hacking in your regular town like it's in everyone's main street, you know? So I think it's cool that people have thought of to put it in their hacked towns. I think that's very nice, a very nice little touch. Okay, so here we have a villager house. Do I see the villager anywhere? I don't believe so, so let's go ahead and go inside. Ooh, this is like a museum of sorts. Cool, so we have like flowers and watering cans and saplings, or is it like a store? Probably like a store. <laughs> Maybe a museum, maybe a nature museum, not really sure. We have the golden butt, my favorite. <laughs> then I think that's basically it for this house. Now, is the villager all here? Where are they? Oh, are you over here? Ah, here we go, Oh, So this is Elita? I hope, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, so it is a plant museum, Oh, that was cute. And I just realized something. With this crown and this wand, we are like a fairy princess, and this is all I've ever wanted in life. This is good. Now, up here, which is very unusual, around the mayor's house, and this is what I saw that made me love this town so much. On both sides, you have the town trees, and they're all pink, and there's this fountain, and all the petals are falling, and you have this fairy castle in the background. Like, how perfect is this right here? We're just gonna take a screenshot because this is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in this game. So yes, I love this so much. So creative. Let's go ahead and go in here. I think this was the villager we met earlier. Ooh, so in here we have some very dainty decor. Like we have the chic wall. I think that's how you pronounce it. And regal furniture, I believe. I still love this record player and this lamp. For some reason, I don't have them don't know why. Let's go to the right first. Okay, and then in here, it's like a bathroom. We've got, of course, a toilet and a clawfoot tub. And the sink, we have a lot of plants in here. Definitely a very fairy-inspired bathroom. Now we will go to the left. And here is like their kitchen. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's the happy birthday sign. I haven't gotten that yet. Oh, and I love the wallpaper. That's a custom wallpaper, which is very nice. Very floral. I love florals. And look, they even have their own chef. How cool is that? This is a really cute kitchen, if I may add. It's very cute. Like, I've been trying to work on my own kitchen in my villager's house, and it's just not going so well. I'm jealous of people that are able to do this. This cutely. And look at all the little food things around. Aw. Now let's see what's over here. Oh, look at the table. That's too precious. Like, oh, I love that. Let's go ahead and go out of here. And we will go upstairs. Ooh, we have some sloppy furniture. I love this rainbow thing. I have it in my house, too. And a pink bunny balloon. Very cute. I love that mirror. It reminds me of Sailor Moon. <laughs> we have a lot of the sloppy set. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen this fan before. That's adorable. I love that. Don't know how you get it. And then we have this cat tower. Very cute. And the bunk beds. I love the bunk bed. Like for some reason, I've always just loved it, but it's not in my villager's house for some reason. I should fix that. I like this sloppy chair too. It looks so lived in with the laptop and everything. This is just all in all very, very adorable. I think that's all for this house. Oh, hello again. I forgot your name, so we're going to talk to you again. Oh yeah, Puck. This is Puck's house. <laughs> I just... This is just so nice. So beautiful. I can't stop looking at it. Okay, let's try and move on. What's this way? We have just a pond. Continues with the same theme throughout. Oh, there's a little illuminated heart in there. I can't get around to it. I think we need to go this way, maybe? I still love this so much. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, there's a little flower bed right here with some Jacob's ladders in it. And we have oh, a cute little tent right here. Is this the villager back here? Oh, look how cute. This is Juniper. I've traveled far to get here. I don't blame you. This is a beautiful place. Let's go ahead and go in here. Oh, it looks like they're a little researcher. Like, they have this little bag and this globe and these plants and that book. It makes them look like they're kind of like a 
explorer, I guess. And they have that cute fan again. I've never seen that before. What? I need to know how you get it. Please let me know. Let's go ahead and leave here. Okay, now we'll go this way. There's another flower bed. And then we have some bamboo and that leads back up to the bench. So we'll go down this way. Oh, look at the cute little windmill. Oh, I love that. I still want it so bad and Deirdre will not suggest it for me. We have this cute little chair right here. Let's go ahead and go back up here. I think this is the path. Oh, we have the cafe right here. Oh, I love the trees around it. How the trees are just like on the cliff right here. Very cool. Now let's go up this way. I think this should lead us back kind of towards the center. Like where the town tree usually goes. <laughs> oh, oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, they have the harvest festival, I think. The Thanksgiving thing. They have it set out all the time with a little stump chair. I've never seen this before. That's a very cute idea. Gold star, like I give this town like a million gold stars. I just love it so much. Okay, let's go ahead and go down to the beach. So here we have the lighthouse. I love it when the lighthouse is on the beach. That's just so cool. I kind of want to get a second copy of the game. Actually, two copies of the game. One for recording a series of this, and then another for just hacking a town. Because I don't want to hack my town, because I've just put so much effort into it, I'd be afraid I'd mess up somehow. <laughs> okay, so that's that end of the beach. Let's go this way. Trumpled some flowers, you know. I'm sorry have some cut bamboo. Oh my gosh, we have a little villager's house down here, like an animal villager. I've never seen that before either. Sucker's house, and it definitely fits in. Like it looks all tropical, and it has a little banana basket outside of it. It's just so cute with the little banana trees around, and this hammock. Oh my gosh, I love this. Hello, little butterfly. And then this way, oh, the campsite's down here. How cute is that? That'd be so nice, just camping on the beach. You might get... Like a tidal wave coming in, which might not be good, you know, but <laughs> in Animal Crossing, I'm sure it'd be fine. And I love all the trees and clovers and bushes down here. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I cannot handle this. Oh, and then we have a wetsuit over here. And it does look like the only way to get to that part of the island via wetsuit. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on just to see if any- <laughs> this doesn't suit my character very well with all the pink but let's go ahead and see what's over here just because I'm kind of curious. Since there's wetsuits right there I feel like there could be something. Oh, or are we gonna be blocked out? Come on. Come on let us up there. Oh <gasps> yeah we got up here. Oh my gosh I'm so glad we did because there's a little picnic basket table blanket thing table. It's not a table. You, you know what I mean. It's a picnic blanket. Like, how cute is this? This is the perfect place for a picnic. Of course, you'd either have to jump off the cliff or, like, throw your food down here and, like, swim over to get to it, but still, it's very cute, very secluded. I love that idea. This town is so cool. And look how pretty the water looks. It's kind of pinkish. Oh, I scared a fish. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and run back up here, then go up here, and then go this way, see what's over here. Don't know if we're missing anything. Okay, there's a tulip topiary right here. Very lovely. Is there anything off this way? Let's find out. Oh, there's a little sign. Dive in. Oh yeah, we could dive over here, couldn't we? We're not gonna do that, because then I'd have to come all the way back up here. <laughs> but that's very cute. I like that. Now up here, let's see, what do we have? Oh, this is the park again, so I think we need to go this way. Getting a little turned around. Oh, nope, we've already been over here. So now what we need to do is cross the bridge over here. Ooh, that's unusual. We have bamboo growing through the bridge. You usually see it like beside the bridge, but that's very cool. We have the train station, which has no cobblestone around here, which I love, that's beautiful. And the train station's all fairy tale themed once again. Some of you guys just need to visit my town one day. I need like 30 more people to visit my town and I can get this. And I'm like, I want it so bad. We have a wooden bench, I think. Can't quite remember. It's a bench. Probably made out of wood. Don't really know. And then over here, what else do we have? 
Oh, we have a little water well right here, and I think, yep, that's it for this part of town. There's a little bit to the left of the train station that we need to explore. We have a fairy tale clock right here, which is really cool being by the train station, because it's like, oh look, you can see what time your train is supposed to depart and stuff like that, you know? I think that's cute. And then over here, it just looks like it carries on the same theme. And then we have the little reset center. And I think that's it. So yeah, guys, that's all for the town of Luella. Look how beautiful this is. Okay, I'm getting another screenshot. Don't mind me. This is by far my favorite town I've ever been to. It's so beautiful, so creative. I know some people don't like the idea of hack towns, but I love the creativity that's put into them. And this one is by far the most creative one I've ever seen. So thank you so, so, so much for bringing this town to my attention, I guess, and wanting me to do a video over it because I got to experience the beauty of this place. And I hope you guys all come and visit here because this town deserves everyone's love. Like, it's so perfect. And I know they've been working on it for a really long time too, so send this mayor all your love. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Also, also, before we end it, if you want me to explore any town in particular, be it your own or someone else's, let me know and maybe I'll do it. But now, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.